Hi, I'm Glenn Villar of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I'm going to show you my Weishi number 1000 multifunction time graphic. You know, the question is, is it worth buying a time grapher if you're not really a, a professional watch repairman or watchmaker? Or is it worth it to buy a time grapher if you're just uh, an enthusiast like me? Well, that question will be answered later. So in the meantime, I'm just going to show you how these things work. And without further ado, let's uh, test this now. Okay, I'm going to switch this on. There. So by the way, I bought this uh, time grapher from China through Lazada. How did I bring this thing to Papua New Guinea? Well, you can't actually buy this from Lazada and ask them to send it here directly, but you can order it from the Philippines using the Lazada app and you have someone uh, you have a contact someone living in the Philippines. So this somebody in the Philippines will just send your box here through a third party um, company that sends box, box regularly from the Philippines and vice versa from Port Moresby or Lay back to Philippines. So that's what I do. Usually when I order items from Lazada, I actually have to wait for another one or two months before the item. I mean, shift here. Okay, so let's moving on to our uh, subject. So we have the Weishi number 1000 here. And when you open it, it just says bit rate auto detect. Oh, by the way, we have four parameters in here. We have the rate parameters, the amplitude. And we have the bit error and we have the parameters itself. So what does this thing do? It just actually measure the you know the the parameters of your watch. If your watch, if your uh, oh sorry, this this uh, this uh, machine is actually intended for uh, automatic watches only. Uh, it doesn't work for uh, crystal watches or battery operated watches. And it's specifically made for uh, um, machine, or what do you call it, mechanical watches, which are run by um, barrel, drum barrels. So it's, it's like this one. This is the Seiko 5, which I have uh, for more than uh, three to four years now. And it's, it's still working. But sometimes I don't get an accurate uh, time from this. They are specifically made for automatic watches. What are the automatic watches? Automatic watches are watches that are run by uh, power reserve made by either winding down the crown or through this uh, swiveling thing here at the back of the mechanical watch. So as you move your watch, as you can see here, it, you know, move this two hands there. I don't know if you can see, which in turn are there. Which in turn moves this circle here and wind up the coil inside the, the barrel and then it is slowly released by some lever and then you can see from here that it's swiveling back and forth the hair spring so as long as this thing is uh, ticking then your watch will also work so how do we know if the mechanical watch are, I mean, it's still working nicely and then 
doesn't need to be serviced yet. So through this thing. So how to use this thing? This actually the time grapper has two parts. The main body part and the microphone part here. And although it doesn't look like a microphone, it is. So it's easy to put your watch in here and use it, you know, like just you see the groove in here? It means you need to put the crown on that part so it doesn't get in the way. So just pull this towards the right side and place your watch on top of it there. So what is there, you can see it's automatically reading the uh, signal for your phone. Now, actually not the signal, but the sound or the vibration that your phone, uh, your, sorry, did I say phone? Your watch is making. Sorry about that. Okay, so as we see, now we can press the start to turn it off and then turn it on again. So what does it what does it say about my watch? Well, it's actually showing how my watch is acting, uh, you know, unusually. If you hear the sound here that it's the sticks that it's making, it should be like continuous, right? That's the normal. Just run the test for a couple of uh, minutes, like one minute. Or if you want to get the more accurate uh, results, you can actually run it for like 3 to 12 minutes as they recommend. So I know actually without looking through the screen, you can actually hear through its sound that it's not actually working nicely. I mean the, the watch is not ticking nicely. You can hear that is there's something wrong with it, right? It's not continuous. It's like it's being interrupted or it's intermittent. The ticking is intermittent and it's, and it's not continuously like sound, sounding nicely. So, okay, let's read the reading from the uh, machine itself. Okay, as you can see, the rate it is showing is 800 seconds, sorry, plus 800 seconds per day. The amplitude is 186 degrees. The bit error is 8.5 ms, and the parameters are 21,600 at 52 degrees. So at 783 seconds per day, uh, my watch will be running or gaining 13 minutes per day. You cannot rely on this watch anymore. So you can only wear this watch for aesthetic purposes. The amplitude says it's 197. The red normal amplitude is around 270 to 310. So it means my phone, my, uh, sorry, my, why did I, why do I keep saying phone? <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, my watch here is 197, 80 degrees short. So, 80 degrees means the revolution of this thing here at the back that I show you later. Later I will show you. This thing, this thing is a, well, this rotating thing at the back. Actually it's not rotating, it's just swiveling back and forth, right? So it has to have a 300, 300, uh, 270 to 310 uh, degrees of swiveling. I think my watch here needs servicing. And look at the bit error here. The bit error is, it's saying 8.7 ms. Uh, as much as possible, keep this bit error down to zero. But if you look at my watch here, it's 8.7. That's too high. And look at the parameter here, it's 21,600. 21,600 is like, uh, I'm not sure, but 
from what I know, my watch is like running at 8 bits per second. So that's why you hear that sound like tuck, 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 tuck. That's 8 bits per second. The 16 bits per second is like this. Okay, so going back to our questions earlier, is it worth buying this time grapper? Well, let's turn this off first. Well, for me, I think it's worth it because I don't think <laughs> I can like go on with my hobby, watch hobby uh, without without it. You can actually find an alternative for time grapper, like the app versions on the phone. There are free ones and there are uh, apps that you can buy. And they all rely on your phone's uh, microphone. The accuracy is not as high as this one because this is a dedicated machine. So yeah, I can recommend this to, you know, watch repair guys. Well, unless you are you have been in the watch industry for so long, then uh, the customer might believe you without you know um, things like this to back up your claim. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed our videos, and um, yeah, I can recommend this thing to you. Start ordering now if you can. I'm not actually getting paid to sell this thing. No, I'm just sharing my beloved Vichy and I really love this thing so much because, yeah, I think I'm going to service my watch, but I don't have the complete tools yet. So once I got all of the tools that I ordered from Lazada, I might start opening this thing and, you know, try to clean it up. And I'm going to make a video on that later. So I'm going to show you how this thing, how effective this thing is on that future video so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this video and once again if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel yeah please subscribe to my channel and uh, i hope you guys are doing today uh, nice today so have a good day today thank you very much bye